In this problem, it says a study of commuting times uh, reports that travel times to work are normally distributed. Here are the travel times in minutes of 10 random commuters. Now, one thing we don't have here is a standard deviation. We have data, but we don't know the population standard deviation. So this is an instance where we're going to want to use a T interval. So if we go to the cal calculator and we go over to test and down to T interval, you have two options. You can input statistics. So we'd need a sample mean. We would need a sample standard deviation and the sample size. Or you can input the data directly, and that's the option I'm going to use. So if you push the stat button again and get to your edit menu, in the first list here, list one, if you push up and clear it if you have something in there, um, let's input the data. 18.3, 20 20.1, 16.5, 13.9, 20.7, 13.9.5, 17.8, 16.3, and 17.6. So there's our 10 pieces of data. Now we could do one var statistics on this, and it would actually tell us all the stuff we need to input. There's our sample mean, there's our sample standard deviation. However, um, you can do this an easier way by going to T interval, and for data, say, please use list one as our data. Frequency means how many times do you want to use it once? Um, and the confidence level we want is a 90% confidence level. When we click calculate, it actually takes the calculator a brief time to think of all this stuff. So we get 15.908 to 18.832. And it also reports the other important information. There's where our um, confidence interval is centered, and here's our sample standard deviation.